Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video today, I'm going to be teaching you how you can download the CMU emulator. What this emulator does is lets you play Wii U games on a Windows PC. So let's get right into the tutorial. So, the first thing you want to do is open the web browser of your choice. In my case, I'm going to be using Google Chrome. Next, we want to navigate to the CMU website. So I'm just going to type CMU Wii U emulator. As you can see, the URL is cmu.info. I'm going to have this link down in the description below. Once we go to here, we want to navigate to the top bar and press the download button. From here, just press the big blue button at the bottom of the page. It says download the latest version. I'm going to be downloading the WinX64 version as that's the version of my operating system. Now it's downloading, I'm going to cut to when it's done. As you can see, I've navigated to my downloads folder. Now I just need to extract this .zip file. You can use any extracting program you want, 7-zip or WinRAR. However, I just like to use the Windows built-in archive utility tool. So I'm just going to click on it, right click, and press extract all. From here, I'm just going to press extract. Now you can see I can just navigate to the CMU folder that was extracted. From here, all I have to do is open the cmu.exe file. You can put this on their taskbar or your desktop if you want, but when you want to open the CMU emulator, you need to somehow get to the cmu.exe folder. So I'm just going to open this now. If Windows says that it's protecting your PC, you just need to press more info and press run anyway. If you want, you can look at the source code for CMU and check if there's any viruses. I personally trust this, however, you can open it at your own discretion. So I'm just going to press run anyway. As you can see, when you open CMU for the first time, it opens a quick setup assistant to help you get started. I'm just going to select the game path for CMU. You can do this yourself, so I'm just going to press browse and cut to when I've selected my game directory. As you can see, I've selected my game path now. As you can see, it's wondering if you want to download graphic packs. This is quite helpful if you want to download graphics packs to help improve performance for, for specific games. I don't know what games you want to run on CMU Emulator, so I'm going to let you do this yourself. I'm just going to leave it for now though, so you can just press next. This is the perfect opportunity to connect a controller. I personally prefer to just use keyboard and mouse, as that's what I'm used to. But if you want to connect a controller, just connect it via the wire or Bluetooth, and then press Configure Input. There's some additional options you can add also, such as starting the games with full screen, opening a separate pad screen, and automatically checking for updates. I would recommend opening a separate pad screen if you do not have the Wii U gamepad, so I'm going to check this. I'm not going to start my games in full screen, as I may not want that every time, so I'm just going to leave this unchecked. From here, you can just close. Now we have CMU Emulator open, it may look a bit intimidating at first, but don't worry, I'm going to go through everything so you understand. You can also see that it's opened the gamepad view that I toggled earlier. I'm just going to minimise this page for now. The first thing I'm going to double check is going into Options and General Settings. From here, you can quickly check all of the settings, just to make sure you like everything. If you want Discord to not tell people that you're emulating Wii U games, you can uncheck this here. The General Settings is just where you can change most of the things you like to use. Under the graphics setting, you want to make sure you choose the right graphics API. Generally, with AMD GPUs, you want to go with Vulkan. However, with NVIDIA GPUs and other GPUs, you're better off going with OpenGL. I have an AMD Radeon RX 5500 XT, so I'm going to stick to the Vulkan graphics API, as I find that works the best for me. If you're not sure, you can try both and work out what you prefer with trial and error. Make sure you do have the right graphics device set though. I only have one device, however if your processor has integrated graphics it may choose the wrong one. Now we're done going through the settings, another thing I just want to remind you is if your games aren't appearing straight away like they were for me originally, all you have to do is right click and press refresh game list. Once you do this, your games will hopefully appear, and then we can just double click our games to open them. I'm not going to bother doing that in this tutorial as I've covered everything you need to know to get up and running. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them down below in the comments as I can help you out if you want. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video.